Hey everybody, Trucker John here, and I'm inviting you to join me on this week's adventure in trucking. So something kind of new happened uh, to me this this week, to start out this week. Uh, so when I left you, we were in Santa Maria, California, where we had just dropped off and we were heading back and we hit all those high winds and I had to stop for the night. So anyways, I was on my way here to uh, Tulare, California to pick a bug going back to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, basically the same route, different shipper, but same route. Uh, so anyways, I had dropped off all those onions there in uh, Santa Maria, right? So I got to my uh, my O1 for my new trip. Uh, by the way, on my way, I stopped to put fuel and I also got a, a trailer wash out. So my trailer is all good to go, right? So I thought. So I get to the O1. Uh, it's a cold storage facility. They inspect the trailer. Uh, after me sitting and waiting for them to load me for three hours, they start to do the inspection on the trailer, and then come to me and say, "Hey, yeah, uh, we can't load your trailer because it smells like onions." And it did. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them for not wanting to load it. It smelled pretty bad. So they have this um, these like coffee grounds. And they sprinkle it inside the trailer and it did kind of kill the odor but about 15 minutes later that uh, the odor came back I mean it was really strong onion smell so I don't blame them you know they're gonna load me up with a bunch of butter and of course that smell would probably go into the taste of the butter if only I had garlic right have some garlic butter anyway so I called my dispatcher um, who is amazing by the way um, you guys know uh, I don't know if I can say his name here. I don't want to, you know, get him upset, but um, I, have a, I have a good dispatcher. I'll just say that. My, my fleet manager is really good. So anyways, uh, I'll let him know, hey, look, there's the situation. what's going on. I have the, the the trailer washed and everything. I have the receipt showing I did, but they still won't. They won't take my trailer. They won't load me. So I had to come over here to the Loves, which is about a mile down the street, and I'm hanging out. Um, and then land, you know, I, I took advantage, I, I took advantage and, you know, I went and had a shower and I'm doing my one splurge in a, in a great while. I grabbed myself some McDonald's. Don't always splurge, you know, with all my food, but once in a while, I, you know, I'll grab something like that. Short version of the story is it pulled me off the load going to Cheyenne, which I'm kind of thankful for because I did not want to deal with all that bad weather, we, uh, which as you can see here in California, we're still dealing with it. Still not pretty, but anyways, now I'm going to deadhead a little under a little under 300 miles down to Mariloma to uh, do a drop and hook, and it's going to go to Loveland, Colorado. So that's going to be our journey for this week, going to Colorado. Here we go. All right, so I made it to Mariloma. So my my plan of action, which kind of worked, was uh, when I was in Tulare. I only had like three hours left on my clock for the day. And it was about a four and a half hour drive down to Mariloma. So what I did is I just waited in Tulare for my time to reset, which was about 6.30 p.m. So my plan was to just drive down to Mariloma, pick up, you know, do my drop and hook, and then just drive until I, I can drive, see how far I can drive through the night. And I made it to about two o'clock in the morning, and I had to stop here. A little I had to exit the freeway and just kind of do one of those little here on the sides there were some other trucks parked here also it's like a little truck you know truck parking on the side right there and over here but I'm just here outside of between Barstow and Baker I think Baker's just on the other side of that hill right there so anyways I wanted to make it further than what I did but I was just too tired I had to stop um, so unfortunately now I have to sit here and wait probably another good three hours before I can drive for my time to reset again because I only have you know two hours on my 14 hour clock and there's no way I still have 900 miles to drive so I have to just wait it out get my time to reset and then I'll continue down the road here since I have the time though I think I'll take advantage and clean up my truck the weather is not going to be that great where I'm going. It's still going to be nasty and stormy and wintry. Uh, but I can't live in this filthy anymore. i got to clean the floor and wipe the dashboard down and just kind of clean up a little. 
So that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do. Nice view. So uh, yeah, I'm in uh, Utah, almost to Colorado. Had to stop here for a quick uh, restroom break, and man, what a nice view. I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to send out the little sparrow and let him take a look because I can't get all the way to the edge of this little viewpoint because of uh, the deep snow. Uh, so I'm gonna send him out to so check this out. <laughs> So I'm going to make this uh, little segment a two-parter because I need to tell you guys a story about coming over Vail from Utah to Colorado. It's a scary story for me. So uh, it took me a little bit of time to tell the story, unfortunately, and I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to end this video now for part one, so watch for part two coming out next. And uh, I also want to give a special shout out to my friend Telly the God. He's on Instagram, on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to leave all of his information in the link down below in, this, in the description of this video. I need you guys to go check him out. This guy, I used to work with him uh, in San Francisco. Um, you know, I didn't know him very well, but he was a really cool guy every time I talked to him. Kind of soft-spoken and a little shy just because he didn't really know me that well. Uh, but then he put out this music video and it just blew me away. Uh, super talented, a great guy. I need you guys to check him out, show him some love. Uh, and I'm gonna give you a little preview of this video right here. You already know who it is, CGOE. Living this lifestyle is not an option, no. Girl, I came to pop no type of action, hey. I'm a guy from the Bay, San Francisco, where I stay. Standing tall, Transamerica, on clay. Living this lifestyle is not an option, no. Girl, I came to pop no type of action, hey. I'm a guy from the Bay, San Francisco, where I stay. Standing tall, Transamerica, on clay. Got the ace car, but I'm no casino. Dodging these bullets like Vin Diesel. I'm trying to start an empire, not Lucius Lion, but for real, though. Game back to the money, I bring hell to your doorstep i'll make your mama wish you were born dead i don't have no sympathy for no broke man who live off a dream if he say you will buy the thing guess what i'ma let you have it from the bottom to the top from the left to the right i'm doing 